Hey everybody, it's Dr. K. So dry needling refers to a Western medicine approach of inserting these thin needles into the skin specifically to target dysfunctional bands of muscle, trigger points, or any other connective tissues that basically are causing movement impairments. So if I had dysfunctional tissue, I'd essentially target this muscle by inserting this needle into the band of the tissue and we would follow that through the line of stress to really maximize our potential to get relief. Now sometimes when you insert the muscle you might elicit a small pain response but most of the times it's pretty comfortable. Now when the muscle is you know starting to get pain relief I might let this sink in for you know, a few minutes, let the patient get comfortable. And then I'll start to maybe manipulate those needles a couple of different ways to kind of stimulate a response. You know, the more common response we get is a twitch in the muscle. Interestingly enough, there's some research out there that shows that you might get a twitch response from the same muscle on the contralateral or opposite side of the body. So it says that there's some sort of component with the spinal cord that has to do with pain relief too. So in the, within the context of muscle pain, the needles not only come into contact with the muscle and connective tissue, but research is starting to suggest that the needles might even touch or prick you know, tiny nerve endings or neural tissue, and that also leads into a reduction in pain. So a lot of extensive research and randomized control trials have you know, really supported you know, acupuncture. There's all this great research coming out now to support uh, Western medicine approach which is dry needling and basically if you dry needle if you're an appropriate candidate it reduces your pain improves the way you move and your capacity for your muscles to work in the gym stay strong inspire others